we are going to continue adding some functionality to our button. Now, when I click on the button, I want to make the text I am learning Android visible. Okay, so let's remove the comments on the method. The first thing that we need to find is the element that we want to apply an action to. So what do we want to do? We want to find for the text view and we want to set it visible. Let's find for the text view first. As we can see here, elements on Android have one have ID. This is the way that Android is going to find our, our component. Every time we click on run, with all of this ID, Android is going to generate auto automatically a document called R, which is going to contain all the resources that our application are using. For example, I'm going to search our button. So, okay, when I click on run, Android generate this document, and for the ID button 2, it assigns this ID, which is a number. Okay, so we need to find the text view, and the text view, as we can see here, doesn't have any attribute ID at the moment. So we are going to create an attribute ID for it. The easiest way is just copy an existent and modify the value. So this is going to be my text, my first text view. Okay, okay. Note that if I find from my first text view here, it's not going to be found. If I click on run, Android is going to generate the R file again. We don't have to touch this file, we don't have to do anything with it, but it's just good to know how it works and that it exists. Okay, now it has been generated again, and as we can see here, has been added to the R file. So, coming back to our activity, we need to find this view which is going to be in the file L ID my first view. Okay, this is where our button is. Now I need to find the view. So if I just start typing on activity, I can see the method that I can execute. And one of the methods is find view by ID, which is getting is receiving an ID as an input, and we know that the ID of our view is found here in Android. So we are going to copy this in here and this is basically our view. This method find view by ID is going to search for our ID and is going to, ret to return the view. So let's create a view view my text view is equal to this. Okay. Now we want to make it invisible. So just let's do it. My text view set visibility visible. Okay. So now when we click on the button that is going to call on click my first method, it's going to come here. My first method is going to find the view is going to assign to this variable the view and then it's going to set the view to visible. Let's see if we are right or not. Launching any motion. The application is here. I click the button and you can see the text. So now in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of this so you can share it to your friends.